I'm Rachel Ballinger. I test things so you don't have to. And on today's episode, if this is on my, on my channel, I'm doing another expensive versus cheap. We decided that we don't like me apparently. And um, I'm going to test expensive alcohol versus cheap alcohol. We just bought the tiny little, what are these called, shooters? They're little, I call them shooters. I did that with gin, vodka, tequila. Is this bourbon? Then we did buy massive bottles of champagne. I believe this was $100. And this, I think, was like $7. So champagne, they didn't come in the little shooter version, but we wanted to test that out. So that will be last. And Emily's going to do a blind taste testing thing for me where she's just gonna pour these into two separate shot glasses. I will not be taking the full shot because I don't want to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots plus some champagne. And this is just a taster. This is a lot of alcohol to even taste. I regret this. And let's begin. Also, don't drink when you're underage and please drink responsibly. No drinking and driving. I do not condone any of the illegalnesses. Is, is. Man, seriously, drink some water and eat some carbs before you go to bed if you drink. It makes a world of difference. Let's try gin first. We have number 209 gin and then New Amsterdam. Emily's gonna pour these into a shot glass and then I'm gonna taste which one's better. Oh, and I got a little chaser for myself. I have no idea what this is. Now I can handle the taste of most alcohol except bourbon whiskey scotch. Gin is like my third favorite hard alcohol, so. <sighs> Rubbing alcohol. This one smells a little better. Whew, whew, that one's rough. This one I can handle the smell of. Here we go. Bottoms up. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually easier to take than a shot of vodka. Do I like gin? I think I, I didn't need to ch That was really easy to drink. I didn't gag or need a, a chaser immediately. What? I think this is the more expensive one. It is? Yeah. I got it right? Yeah. Ah, okay, it smells better and it tastes better. The smell was really the big thing. Like the smell of this was putrid and poison. And this was like, smells like a, like a drink. All right, next one. I think I like gin and this is like a realization. So we have Bullet Bourbon and Rebel Yell. Uh, Bullet is the more expensive one. Rebel Yell is the cheaper. You can get and tell by this is in plastic and this is in glass. I hate both with a burning passion. Oh, I hate you. Here we go. Why do people drink this? This one, I can handle the smell of better. But with bourbon, it's usually the ones that are the worst flavor that people enjoy the most. So I can't tell you anything. All I know is this one smells better than this one. Surprisingly smooth as it went in and then there was a bite right as I swallowed. You are strong. You are capable. You are. Smooth, less bite. I think I enjoyed this one more. Is this one more expensive? Mm. This is the cheaper one? I told you, bourbon's weird. The worse it is, the more expensive it is. Rebel Yell, so it was smooth with no bite, and Bullet was smooth with a bite. The Bullet smelled worse, but it was actually more manageable than like the smell of vodka or tequila. Next, so we have a Don Julio Blanco, which is the more expensive, and a Jose Cuervo Especial. All right, smell test. I don't know if I like tequila. It smells better. No? It smells so bad. This is a softer smell. <laughs> it was smooth and then it choked me. I'm trying, what is, how, I'm cleansing my palate. <laughs> hmm. I can't. 
can't taste the difference. <laughs> this one's better and smells better. Here's my thing, if you're mixing it in a drink, the quality of the alcohol does not matter. If you're having it on its own, it matters 10%. Okay. Oh God, the... I hate... Why did I agree to any of this? Next one, vodka. This is Seagram's 100 proof, and this is Grey Goose. Let's see if I can tell. Okay, here we go. That was fingernail polish remover. That assaulted my nose. I'm snotting everywhere now. Okay, this one does not smell as bad. Yeah, it's still bad, but it's not as bad. Ah, ah. Okay. This one's more expensive, this one's better. Yeah. Ah! Okay. The last one up is the champagne, which isn't bad. Champagne's good. Can I tell the difference? Let's find out. I'm too scared to open it, so that's your job. <laughs> I don't like the pop. What is all? This is the, this is set, this, you know what? This is the $7 right here. I, what in the, I'm like peeling someone's sunburn right now. Okay, well that was just a twist top. <laughs> I didn't even have a cork. All right, this is Andre Extra Dry. This is the cheap one that was like seven bucks. And this is the Vive Bit of Champagne. It was 80 to 100, I can't remember. Emily will put it on the screen. So with these, I'll teach you how to open champagne. You take off the foil, right? Ooh, no foil. And then there's a little cake. You always put your thumb up on this. So in case anything pops up, you're immediately just going, it's not as much pressure as you think. Your thumb can handle it, all right? So then you unscrew your little basket, right? And then you, nothing's going on, nothing's going on. All right, great, we're good. Nothing happened, take your basket off. Take your little wire fish thingy off. You're gonna grab the cork, right? So it's, you can't get out of there. You can't get out of there, right? Slowly twist, pop. That's all you do with champagne. If you wanna be cool, you can shake, no. If you wanna act, if you wanna act like you think you're cool, you shake it up and then go like, poop, and then it hits something and breaks something. We don't need that. It's cool that you bought champagne for people. That's the cool part. You're being nice to people. That's the cool part, not the cork. Better safe than sorry. That's what I always say. Emily? Great, we got some champagne. Here we go. Smells like champagne, but a softer scent of champagne. A stronger scent of champagne. Now champagne, the smell of it shouldn't make you want to vomit. Here we go. Kind of fruity, which I did not expect. Kind of like a, a dry, sparkling cider. That one was bubblier and drier. That one, this one tastes cheaper. Is this the more expensive one? Yeah, yeah. With champagne, it's like the drier, bubblier, like feeling is the more expensive one. I went right, this one tastes, actually this one tastes like it's gonna give me a hangover. It's super sugary and fruity. It doesn't taste like champagne at all. This one tastes like expensive champagne. And that doesn't mean it tastes good. I just could tell. This is the first testing video where I can like taste the difference between things. Am I? An alcohol kind of seed. <laughs> Do I have a talent? I'm an alcohol sommelier. What is it? Sommelier. Sommelier. Watch out now. Career change. Done. All right, guys. That's it for today. So my thing with alcohol has always been: if you're gonna take a shot, the more expensive ones taste better. But after the second shot, I don't think it matters. You're not gonna taste anything. If you're gonna make a mixed drink, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Also, alcohol. You don't need to drink it. You don't. If you think you do, you don't. But uh, if you do drink, please drink responsibly, take care of yourself, and know your limits. But that's it. If there are any other expensive versus cheap things you guys want me to test out, please let me know below, or tweet them to me, or comment them on Instagram, or DM me, or Emily. We're always looking at what you guys want from me. I love you guys. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. I love testing things so you don't have to. Make sure to check out my vlog channel and my podcast channel, my TikTok, and my Instagram. I love you guys a lot, and I'll see you later. Bye!
just also for a little PSA.